And we're back with another episode of Predator Concrete Jungle. And we start with the Predator not being cloaked and really hurt, just sort of sneaking around an open room somehow. And now here you are at last, my dear. And my story's almost done. Don't you have a kiss for your grandma? Isabella Borgia? Why is she still dressed in that? That's my question. This is fucking impossible. You can't still be alive after a hundred years. Did you come to shut me down, take control, sell us out, Lucretia? I know you plan to usurp Hunter. I've been watching you, you know. How likely you are, Lucretia. A schemer. An empire. An empire of exactly one major city. I don't know if that's really a monster, or more of just a cyborg. So what? She makes Wi-Fi run, apparently. But see, why? How does that make any sense? Well, I guess because the weathered machines that no other city has because of some reason. How did? How exactly? You know, do they get weather machines out of wrist blades? Why? Full of thousand children like Hunter, genetically adapted to conquer this world and others. That seems titanically stupid. Because then, what if they? You're insane. Yes, she is insane. Leave us alone. Bruno used to say to me, "It's all just jungle, baby. Behind the fancy hotels, the churches, and the diamond parlors, it's all just predators and prey." And he was right. The monster is working its way up the food chain. Now, how he knew that, I don't know. The predator that is, how did he know that? But see, here's the thing. I don't see why the predator even knows she exists. And the predator wouldn't even attack anyway. You wouldn't think. was a sickly child. I knew it even then. He could never have survived but for the blood. Gun? Why did the Predators let that happen? That's my question. Like, what the hell? Like, what was the point of that? Why did he do that? What, do you want to, like, rape her or something? Because that's the only thing that can explain that. Why would he even go to her? How would he even know she was there? the gifts it gave us. And in its desperate attempts to escape from our world, it left behind the others. Once again, how do you get weather machines out of that? How does that make any sense? What's interesting is I kind of ended the episode a bit abruptly last time, uh, thinking it was over when in fact it wasn't. That's why we just kind of started up with just literally a cutscene. So... Let's continue on to the next chapter, if it bleeds. We can kill it. Ah, we get to fight some xenomorphs now. Yeah, we are definitely very close to the end. Uh, I think on this level, we can actually unlock uh, the City Hunter. Their technology has made us rich and powerful. Only their lifeblood can keep us alive. You're vampirizing them? This is so fucked up. I like a character that actually realizes how crazy a lot of this is. And like the predator wouldn't hunt her down, literally because she doesn't have any weapons on her. I suppose you think you've got me just where you want me now, but say hello to my little friends. I think that's some good dialogue there. I mean there's not much I can add to that. When when th when this see when th when this level happened, I just like was just taken aback by how great it was. I mean, come on. Zeno Morphs, xenomorphs, in this game, because I didn't think they'd be in here. You know, and you gotta remember, at the time this game came out, there was no 
more, there'd basically been no more Predator games or AVP games because there wouldn't be another AVP game until 2010 and it sucked. So it's like, yes, I get to play as a Predator fighting aliens. As I watch these nightmare creatures stalk the object of a century of my dreams, I almost don't see Okay, you basically cannot fight them all at, all, all at once. You have to fight, you basically just use mines. But while Scarface relied on tools to fight with, the very body and acid blood of these alien fiends were weapons for the kill. And they came in such numbers. Perhaps at last, the hunter had become the hunter. No, because predators routinely hunt these guys. That's what they do. But anyway. Uh, let's see. There is my spear gun. Bap. Warning. Core stability now at 70. Hey, why doesn't that voice sound like her? I mean, since apparently she's the main computer. Also, how did the xenomorphs not escape? Also, how did they get the queen out of the ice? How did they know the queen was in the ice? Blah, 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 blah. I don't care. It's cool. I don't give a damn. It's cool. Okay, uh, basically what you do here is just drop a crap ton of bombs. Because you can't actually fight them all. Oh, God damn it! Oh, I'm, I'm really hurt. Heal up. They can't hurt you while you're... Look at how many are there! Look at that! Jump! Come on, idiot. Come on, idiot. Jump. Toss! Yeah, the camera just went crazy. I just killed myself. That's great. No, I'm just gonna retry. I'm not. I didn't save anyway, so I don't really have a choice. Okay, this is actually kind of difficult, but if you actually do it right, which I didn't. Yeah, skip, 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 skip. Thank you. Ah, uh, just what am I doing? Who am I? What am I? Okay, so all we gotta do is kill these initial guys. And I actually do remember that if you just use the uh, combi stick. You just do enough blunt damage that they die. Alright, so now... What we've got to do... Is... Let them follow us. relied on tools to fight with. The very body and acid blood of these alien fiends were weapons for the kill. But see, the thing is about, you know, damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it. turn around, turn around, hit it! For some reason, the, the mines would cause this to happen. I don't know why. That doesn't really make a lot of sense in canon. But this is generally how you kill these guys. You just shut them down. You use the... You basically only want to use two types of mines, which I didn't actually do just then. Uh, you want to use the uh, EMP mine and then a, then the uh, sonic mines. You use both of those, and in theory, you can actually make it through this level without dying a billion times. Okay, took down one of the fans. Time to save. And we're back. I do like how... I do like the fact that this game has Xenomorphs. It's just so amazing. It's one of the, It's just one of those little touches that this game has that really saves it from being mediocre. I know these days, if a Predator game was to be created, there wouldn't be any Xenomorphs. They'd just keep them out of there, but... This is made back in the so-called Golden Age of Gaming. That unfortunately no longer exists. There is no Golden Age anymore. It's just the age of... crap. Age of genericness. Okay, just time to run! Okay, so we made it through here. Now all we gotta do is... It's actually kind of a confusing level. Very confusing. Just trying to figure out where exactly to go. And so I'll probably end it after I actually shut down the core. Because there's one where... There, there's... Two parts of this level. There's the one where you shut down the core, where you, actually something blows up. I think it blows up with great PS2 level explosions. Okay, so it's oh, we already went this way. Uh, we just need to start fi find the other cooling fans. You gotta love how there's no backup coolant system, or maybe there is, and that's why they gotta disable the next 
next level. Jump! Make it! Yes! Just keep laying down mines. That's the main tactic. I do find that funny, just getting blown off into oblivion. If you can't fight these guys, if you try, you'll die. Just keep dropping off as many mines as possible. See, like that. Drop a mine. Boom. Drop another one. Boom. Boom. Because there's just way too many of them. They will completely eviscerate you. They will crush you. They'll see, they'll see you driven before them and they will hear the lamentations of the female predators. Or something like that. Oh dear. Ooh! Let's watch this upgrade. Woo! Time to save. Okay, we're doing fine. We're doing good. They're chasing me. They're chasing me. They want to kill me. They don't like me. They don't like how I've kidnapped all their queens. And are using them to train hunters. They don't like that. That pisses them off. Okay, okay. Where is the nearest fan? This one. Jump! No, get off of there! Okay, so. All we gotta do is destroy that fan. Now, here they are! Smack! 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 That was kind of a waste. It's not really a smack, it's more of a throw, isn't it? But see, if you didn't if you didn't know that mines did that, you would probably die a lot more in this level. I mean, I certainly didn't know. But basically, all I'm doing is just sort of dance around with the stick. Would you stop trying to do that, idiot? Oh, great, they're all coming after, after me now. Okay, turn around, come on, turn around! That's actually one thing I've always really liked in uh, certain games. Where, like, there's so many enemies after you, all you can do is run away and then turn around and just, just start shooting for dear life. That's a weird camera angle. Okay, now... Alright, Boston. It's just you and me. Smaggity smack, smaggity smack. Okay, actually, it's time to heal, too. Maybe when I finish this level, I won't be, like, half dead with, like, my small intestines hanging out. Actually, since I can't cloak, might as well just use the new smart disc. Boom. Oh, they woke up. That's not good. I thought that I actually killed them. Okay, that's slightly closer. Probably should save in just a second, and we probably will. And jump! Start laying down mines. Boom. Boom. Don't flip over there. I've done that so many times it's not even funny. Please get on there. Hey, what's up here? Anything? Question mark. The bonus mission is, of course, shut down the cooling fans in the collect correct order. Now, what the hell the collect correct order is, I do not know. So guess what? I'm not going to shut it down in the correct order at all. Oh, wait a minute. But then again, did I shut down... Oh yeah, I shut down 3 and 4. I did not shut down 1 and 2. So I bet I probably don't even get anything halfway decent for that, so... I don't care. Do you want me to go and restart the level so I shut it down 1, 2, 3, and 4? Okay, we want to shut down number 2, so that's down. Number two is down. Wow, that, that's horrible. I can make a joke out of that, but that's a bit too crude even for me. If only I had a map. Do I have a map? I don't even know if I have a map. Is there a map? No, there's not. Oh, I'm out of mines. Here they come. Boom. Bye-bye. Oh, and of course I just hurled myself down there. Like a bloody moron. Come on, just keep hitting the mines. Screw you. Alright, but there's only we're doing good. There's only two fans to turn off. So we should be able to finish this level momentarily. Boom. Okay, that's why I hate the camera in this game. Okay, fan number three is that way. Where the hell's fan number two? 
This is like, uh... Okay, Fan 2 is this way. In fact... Okay, since Fan 2 is down, we should probably be going down, shouldn't we? Okay. Fan 2 is down still. So how the hell do I go down even more? Going down. Express elevator to hell. Going down. It's actually a Let's Play episode that I wanted to say that line in, but I never got a chance to. Oh well. Oh no, don't get off the wall, idiot! Okay, so that's too far down. Okay, you know what I'm gonna do, just in case. Firebomb. Except those will actually hurt you if you try to use them. I know they'll probably jump on me. But see, now I'm out of mines, and that's not good. That's horrible. Probably could end up dead. But see, look, I gotta do something to kill these guys. Oh, come on, get away from the bomb! Got him. They could have basically just hit me now. Jump up! Ah. Uh. Okay, so this is this is the annoying part of this level, and that annoying part is the fact that I don't know where the next bloody uh, fans are. That's a long way down. You see, it's hard to find the fans. It's what it's one of the things I hate about this. Jump up, down to four. All I can really do is sort of just hope to. Use like uh, attrition to get myself get myself back to where those mines are. Otherwise, there's no way to make it. See, there's no like identifying marks in here, or it's really just hard to figure out where these different areas are. Like, yeah, I'm glad the objective markers say to go this way, but how do I get there? I find it annoying, very annoying indeed. It's like I just want to find the area. It's making me go up. And of course, I'm gonna do backflips all over the place, which I don't actually want to do right now. Thankfully, they don't do that much damage because I can't. I can't hurt them. I can't fight back. I literally can do nothing right now. All the mines I have will actually hurt me. Okay, so we made it back to this area. We're back here now. Okay, we're back here. We can't. We but we still can't do anything. We need to find Cooling Fan One. And it's busy organ! Woo! So anyway, now what we're trying to do is uh, actually survive. That's all we're doing. We don't even know where we're supposed to go. Staying alive, staying alive. Oh, 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 oh. Saturday Night Predator. Wait, that sounds horrible! Wow. <laughs> wow. Hey, at least they're just limited to Saturday night. That's when you know you don't need to go out. Okay, uh, damn. I, so, I, uh, you're the Saturday Night Predator. No, I'm not. Yes, you are. No, uh, uh, Scarface is. He's perverted. Wait, that's horrible. That's even worse. I should stop while I'm ahead. Okay, Fan 1 is down here. Okay. Ah, very good. You're a pedophile. Wow, Opal. Wow. Just stop. I thought my name was Mizio. You know what? No, you don't even get the Mizio moniker for saying something like that on my show. The fact that you're a pedo bear. See, I don't even know what that is. It's like some sort of meme or something. Pedo bear. Wow, that's just weird. Okay, uh, anyway. Let me get the smart disc out. Toss it. Oh, really? I got, I got hurt by that? Loser. Okay, we're doing good. Time to save. Okay, so now Mizio has gone. Mizio has fled. And now we're going to try, try mind you, to actually complete this level. We've got a couple of Sonic Mines left. And we've got one bloody fan to take out. You know, we're kind of like a reverse Isaac Clark here, you know? I mean, he's always trying to fix everything, and as the Predator, we're just trying to fuck everything up we can. Why? Because it's fun. 
Just smashy smashy. When in doubt, it's smashy smashy time. Come on, why am I not going? Literally the control the controller just stopped working. I have no clue as to why. And now the game seems to be slowing down a little bit, but I think it's just because there's like that many xenomorphs trying to kill me. Come on, Xenos. Come on. Okay, this is not working out well. See, now I gotta try to find fan number one. And I'm not entirely sure how to do that. I am not entirely sure. It says to go down. Didn't I just come back up from there? Did I just take out fan number one? Yes, I did. I need to find. Still need to find fan number two. The whole, the one I've been trying to find this entire time. I could probably decloak, seeing as how the xenomorphs can find me. See, that's the thing. Uh, I was recently watching uh, Spoonie's Ultima videos. Uh, specifically, the last one actually. It was that uh, one on Ultima Nine Ascension, and I think Mizio is coming back. She's coming back. Ah, ah. But anyway, blow them up. There's four and then one, but where is two? I need fan number two destroyed. But anyway, yeah, those Ultima videos where, uh, uh, not Ultima videos, the ninth one, Ultima 9, about how horribly, how much of a betrayal it was. Just think about this a minute. We have this game here, Predator Kahoot Jungle, and you know, it did not need to even have Xenomorphs in it, but, but they are here. But here's the thing that is really awesome. They're consistent with the uh, Xenomorphs seen in the AVP series. Because, you know, we could cloak, and, you know, in a lesser game, they would be able, they would be just as uh, blinded, or not blinded, but they would not be able to detect the Predator, just like a regular human. But they kept with the cannon, and they can still see me through my cloak. And that's just amazing, you know? I mean, that one little detail could easily have been missed, and there's fan number two. That's the one problem with this camera. Unless you are spot on, you'll absolutely miss it all. Okay, and of course he's right behind me. Come on. Eat a mind, motherfucker. But anyway. Uh, let's see, we just need to actually heal. Rawr. Uh, and then we need to... I actually remember reading a, uh... A thing. A review. A text review by someone other than myself. On this game. Saying that it came out to capitalize on think I think like on AVPR. Really? This game has nothing to do with that. So screw you, random reviewer. The coolant system has failed. So now what? Now find the core and shut it down. And by shut it down we mean smashy smashy! Of course, now the big problem is, we gotta find the core. I already found the core, you know? I found it a long time ago. But now I gotta try, and hopefully find it, again! I don't know where the hell that thing is! Uh, I don't know where the hell is the core. It's gotta be somewhere. It's not there. It's one thing, it's one of the things I really like about Dead Space. You can just bring up a little objective marker that even looks cool. Well, and my, what does my minimap say? North. We're going north right now. That helps me not at all. And of course I missed the jump, so now here they all they come. Here's... Eat a mine, you bastards. How about you hit another one? Goodbye. Okay, so where exactly, might I inquire, is the core? I know I was just there, but all the corridors really do look the same. So what the hell am I supposed to do now? You're supposed to have created a map, John. That is what you're supposed to do. Bap. Oh, I'm out. Bap again. Wait, could that be the core? It is. Thank God. Thank the great gods of the predators. Okay, so basically our objective is smashy smash smash smash. Now why there's nobody working down here, how they would ever service the uh, core in the event of an actual legitimate malfunction and not just the predator, you know, bashing it around with his fists, I don't know, but hey, you know what, these evil layers don't really have much in the way of maintenance anyway. 
Come on, smash it. Why do I keep... Come on, smash it. Oh, I didn't smash that one. Okay, so hopefully after I smash that, we'll get a great explosion. A fatal overload. You know why Quentin Doss says you had a fatal error? Well, this is even more fatal. You'll legitimately die. Oh, come on, stop attacking me. Come on, target him. Yeah, target one of the ones that's asleep or just sort of unconscious. Okay, dead. I don't know why the game's lagging so much here. It says I'm getting 45 frames a second, but it's certainly not doing that. That's the problem with emulating this. Oh, I think it's gonna blow! Run! Oh, I did actually have to escape. So yeah, that's what happened to a reactor overflows. It just has, like, blue ice cream. Okay, so now... We get to go kill... Well, we're not actually gonna kill her just yet. We have to actually get, fight our way to her. And then escape the, uh, alien hive. And I think the next level is where we can unlock the, uh, city hunter predator costume. But until that time, this is General Ots signing off.